your phone rings. Hesitantly, you answer the phone. And it's the news that you don't want to hear. The network is down. The boss is in arms. Users are complaining. They cannot access really important sites such as facebook.com and youtube.com. It's your job to fix the network. This is a packet tracer troubleshooting lab. You've been told that after a power outage, the network has stopped working entirely. Assume that this is just a portion of the network where issues are occurring. Notice as an example that on router 3, we see an issue. File boot failed. File not accessible. Boot of test bin failed. Error returned. File boot failed. File not accessible. There is a error on file open. The router cannot load test.bin and that seems to occur multiple times. We told that no valid boot image is found and the router is going to attempt order boot from the default boot device. Now this is important. To simulate this network issue, click the Power Cycle Devices button in Packet Tracer. In other words, click here and click Yes to restart the devices. Notice on router 2 as an example, the network is broken. We are in ROM monitor mode. On router 1, the router seems to be booting up, but let's see if it boots successfully. And on router 3, we have this issue where the router cannot find test.bin. So let's see if this router boots up successfully. So we've been told that the network is broken. We can already see a problem on router 2. We're in ROM monitor mode for some reason. So we need to fix that. And then we need to check what's happening on other routers. Notice we end up with the system configuration dialog. And we asked, do we want to enter the initial configuration dialog? But that's not really where we want to end up. And notice on router 3, all interfaces are administratively shut down and the router doesn't have any IP addresses. So we've established that there are problems in the network. Remember, in this lab, click this option, Power Cycle Devices, to simulate the power outage in the network. You now need to fix the issues and ensure that configurations are restored properly so that the routers can ping each other's loopbacks. Router 1 should be able to ping its own local loopback, Router 2's loopback, and Router 3's loopback. Now you've asked for network documentation, but to make matters worse, there's none for this site. In other words, you are blind when configuring the network. You need to somehow restore device configurations and get the network working. I'll give you a hint, however. Router 1 has a loopback of 1.1.1.1, router 2 of 2.2.2.2, and router 3 of 3.3.3.3. The routers are using EIGRP as the routing protocol in Autonomous System 100. That's all the information you've been given. You are not allowed to manually configure the loopbacks and the routing protocols. You need to restore device configurations. Once you've done that, you need to verify that things are working. Again, as I like to say, routers do what you tell them to do not what you want them to do. In other words, they only do what they configured to do. So verify things by using the Power Cycle Devices button once you've restored your device configurations 
and make sure that the rod has come up again with their configurations and that the loopbacks are pingable. In other words, you need to fix the network so that if a power outage happens again in future, it's not going to break the network. So can you do this? Download the attached packet tracer file and see if you can complete the lab yourself. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to fix this network and I'll also show you some tips and tricks, but try and complete the lab yourself. Everyone is waiting for you to fix the network. Can you get the network up and running again?